Race one at the Red Bull Ring and a damp qualifying session gave us our 11th different pole sitter of the season. Laren Heinrich leading the charge into turn one with Kelvin van der Linde for company on the front row of the grid. Ayanjin Guen third on the way into turn one, getting up the inside of Kelvin van der Linde as 28 cars made their way through the first turn. Climbing uphill then side by side for the lead of the race. Kelvin van der Linde holding on to the outside line through turn one, up into turn two and then at the top of the hill into turn three. Would he be able to find a way past Laren Heinrich, who was looking for his first win in his first season of DTM? On the brakes they went, but out wide on the damp stuff was Kelvin van der Linde. Some of the cars starting on slick tyres, most of them on wet tyres, and one of them coming from the back of the field after qualifying on slick tyres was Ricardo Feller, third in the championship with a lot of work to do. Kelvin van der Linde didn't have the best of starts to the race. He found himself down in fifth position, but this move on Thomas Prining was a good one. Kelvin van der Linde side by side with the driver second in the championship as they made their way down the hill through turn six and seven around the outside and the South African regaining one of the positions. There was also some very good action further back with Mirko Bortolotti going wheel to wheel with Marco Wittmann. The championship leader having to come from ninth from the grid in the Lamborghini all the way around the outside of the BMW and getting the job done despite a trip through the gravel trap. Uh, so into the pit window, Ricardo Feller amongst those drivers switching from wet tyres to slick Pirellis for the second half of the race. He'd already made his way through into the points from 26th on the grid. Mirko Bortolotti, meanwhile, was involved in a battle inside the top six with Thomas Prining, having gained several positions before the pit window. He was one of the last to come in and make a pit stop in two, switching to slick tyres. But coming out of the pit lane, he found in his mirrors Thomas Prining in the Manti EMA Porsche. Absolutely nose to tell as they climbed the hill up towards turn three and the Lamborghini, with its tyres not yet up to temperature, succumbed to the Austrian. Priding, who'd won here 12 months ago at the Red Bull Ring, down the inside, and the Lamborghini struggling for grip, going way out wide, coming out of turn three. But then drama, Thierry Vermeulen into the gravel trap after contact with the Brasser Racing Team Lamborghini of Clement Schmidt. The safety car was about to be deployed. Kelvin van der Linde had found himself in the lead of the race after a terrific run through the pit window. Great stop from Abt and a really good in and out lap from van der Linde put him at the head of the field ahead of Lauren Heinrich who led the first half of the race with Maro Engel, Thomas Brining and Ricardo Feller rounding out the top five. Feller with a tremendous drive then actually outscoring the championship leader Mirko Bortolotti despite his loading grid position. His next target was going to be Thomas Prining. That job made easier when Priney was told to get off the throttle after a move with Maro Engel that was unfair. He'd have to let Fella through before he could let Engel back through and René Rast took advantage as well. All of a sudden Thomas Priney dropping like a stone three places in quick succession into the latter stages of the race. Kelvin van der Linde and Laren Heinrich were safe in first and second but a great battle for third place between Ricardo Fella and René Rast fell with a terrific drive. Could he hold on to the final podium position as René Rast, a three-time winner in the DTM at the Red Bull Ring, came charging around the outside. It was a fearsome battle, but Ricardo Feller, having done all the work to get from 26 to third, was never going to let the three-time champion pass. He dug in, he needed the championship points, and he just about stayed ahead. Fantastic battling between them. They ran side by side for several corners. But at the end of a 60 minute plus one lap race, it was Calvin van der Linde back on the top step of the podium. A race winner in the DTM for the first time since Hockenheim at the end of the 2021 season. And a terrific turnaround for the Abt Sportsline team down and out in the dry conditions in practice on Friday. But the rain had helped them to a 1-3 on the birthday of Thomas Biermeyer, the team boss. Second place in the race then, going to Laren Heinrich and Ricardo Feller third. That puts Feller onto 158 points, 22 points adrift of Mirko Bortolotti. And Bortolotti's lead at the top of the championship table cut from nine points to just six as we go into the second race at the Red Bull Ring. Just three qualifying sessions and three races to go. And the championship is very much alive here as we head into the final throws of what's been a fascinating 2023 season.